G'day folks and welcome to an afternoon bush adventure yabbying and fishing with me. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now I've got the afternoon free so I've come up here into the hills for a bit of an adventure and to do some exploring. I'm going to put some yabby nets in this dam here behind me and then we're going to go off in search of a trout. I have no idea at all whether or not there's any yabbies in this dam. Just looking around the edge from where I'm standing here now, I can't see any claws. Normally yabby dams have claws and legs and stuff. I can't see any claws. I can't see what looks like yabby holes around the edges. The signs aren't good. Also, I'm right up high in the hills, away from any other dams that could hold yabbies. So I don't know how I'll go here today. I suspect I won't catch any. But I'm going to put a couple of nets in here and just see whether there's any yabbies in here while I'm fishing. I've got two collapsible bait traps, both baited up with good O's dry dog food. Let's put the net in and then go fishing. Net number one. Throw it out as far as I can. Is it deep enough? Uh, looks like there's about two feet of water in there. Not overly deep. I might see if I can get the other net in down that end. If it's not too snaky. I can see a black beetle there on the surface. That's a sign of life. Net number two can go down this end. Perfect. Right now both nets are in. I haven't got very high expectations. It just doesn't feel or look yabby-ish to me. But it's worth a try. Let's go fishing now and come back a bit later on and find out whether there's any yabbies in this dam or not. Now this is the first creek that I'm going to be fishing. It actually looks very good. It's clearer than usual. And I'm just standing up here on the high bank to see if I can see any fish feeding or not. I'm fly fishing. I've got my two weight fly rod. It's a little short little six foot fly rod with a Royal Stimulator fly. There's a lot of grasshoppers kicking around as I come down. So I'm expecting to see fish rising, but so far I haven't. Anyway, I'll make my way up and start fishing. I've only got about probably 100 metres of water or so to fish here, but it can be quite a productive 100 metres or so of water. I just saw one rise right down there in the middle of the pool. Unfortunately, it was a nice looking brown trout too, but unfortunately I'm going to be casting down to that from up above, which is never good when you're trout fishing, but I'll just, unless I want to get in down here, practically swim through the hole, that's the only way I'm going to be able to fish that, I think. Gee, I am tempted though, after seeing that, I am tempted to find my way in. I'm going to do it. Right, now I got down there with the subtlety of a rhinoceros. Now I'm just going to sneak up on that trout and hope that I haven't spooked it yet. <laughs> that trout was up there a fair way, so I'm going to just... I'll start from back a bit, just in case he's swam downstream a bit. I haven't got much room for back casting here. Where did it go? I know it's in there. Right, I've added a couple of feet to my leader to make it a bit longer. And I've changed to a half down hopper. I did think about putting a, uh, a nymph on under the hopper. But I, I, I don't know, I just want to catch a fish on a dry fly. I enjoy dry fly fishing. Oh, got him! Oh, done him! I was stumbling over rocks when he hit me fly. First fish I've had to take my fly. Oh, another one! Got him! Oh, pull some line in, Robbie! Pull some line in! You got tough! Look at that! I changed from the Royal Stimulator to the half down hopper, and I've hooked two tree up in two casts. I'm not going to worry about any photos and stuff. This time of the year with trout, it's just uh, 
Great to hook them, get them in, have a quick observation, unhook them and get them back. Come on, mate. I'll unhook you and get you straight back in. Lovely brown trout of around 30 centimetres. Say hi to mate. Awesome. I fished for probably 20 minutes or so with the Royal Stimulator. Never even had a fish rise to the fly. I changed to the half down hopper right here in this pool. And then I went to that pool and hooked two fish in two casts. Looks like I might have been using the wrong fly. Problem sorted now. Dry fly fishing, so much fun. He's under it, got him. I watched him come and grab it. He came out of the shade. He was sitting over there in that shade. Come on, mate. What I love this half down hopper. Lovely fat little fish, this one. Fin folk, I've seen this a million times, folks, but in a million times in summer, you've got to get them straight back in. If you stuff around for photos and stuff, they die. In the autumn and the spring when it's cooler, I'll get them out and lay them next to my rod for a photo, but this time of year, straight back in. Two on the board, beauty. Now, if you want more information about this fly, it's a half down hopper. I can't remember the name of the shop, but I bought it off a guy called Darren Asquith in Banella. If you Google Darren Asquith Banella or Darren Asquith fly fishing Banella or something, I'm sure you will find it. He's got a small shop in Benalla that operates out the back of a post office. A news agent, out the back of a news agent. And I bought quite a few of these half down hoppers off him last season and I've only got two left including this one. Got to be a trout in the waterfall hole, doesn't there? There's always fish in waterfall holes. You bastard. Because I'm an idiot sometimes. I've got to learn to stop and think before I do dumb stuff. I was snagged up there, so I went, uh, snapped it. And then remembered that I've only got two of them flies. And it's working so well. I don't even know whether I'll be able to find it. Idiot. Think first, Robbie. Think before you act. Yes, I've found it. i found it. I've got me fly back. I've got to tie on a little bit of line for a leader, but I've got me fly back. You'll be out here. <laughs> well, folks, the first creek started off really slow, but once I swapped from the Royal Stimulator to the half down hopper, the trout went nuts. Now, I'm going to go and explore a different stream now. I know that if I can't find trout anywhere else, I can come back here and fish here more. But I want to go and explore a different stream with some rainbow trout in it. Now before I go to the second creek, I might just do an impatient check on my nets. They've been about 45 minutes. There is a lot of black beetles in there. There are heaps of black beetles in there. I'll tip them out. Lots of black beetles, but no yabbies. You know, I'm afraid I don't have very high expectations for this dam. But this is how I find... Oh, there's a yabby on the outside! See him? He's down there. I'm not getting him now. My expectations have just gotten better. There's no yabbies in the net, but there was one on top of the net. There are yabbies in this dam. That was... Uh, I hope the camera picked that up, and I hope you beetles can get back in. That was... Um, oh, you beauty! Well, I've already half caught more one that I more than uh, one more than I expected. Oh, I'd better start all that again. I've already half caught one more than I thought I would half catch. If that makes sense. There's yabbies in the dam. When I check them later on today, I'm going to have much higher expectations. Let's go trout fishing at the second creek. Now, with a couple of brown trout, 150 beetles, and a near yabby experience all under my belt. I've made my way to the second creek that I wish to fish. Now this particular spot here says a lot of fishing pressure. 
If I'm ever going to catch a, uh, a trout here in such a high pressured area, a fly is going to be the way to do it. I'll probably fish this creek in uh, a couple of different places. I've, I've got a nice run here of about 150 metres that I really like. So I'll fish it from here up around the corner, then I might go upstream and try a different area. Nice deep pool this one. Probably take about half an hour for the trout to get from the bottom of the pool to the surface to grab my fly. Oh, there he is! Oh, I missed him! <laughs> well, at least he come up after it. Even in this high pressure environment, I was able to go take on my dry fly. Little mini machete. Gets the job done. Got him! Ha ha ha! The first one in this creek, I've got to admit I thought this would be a, uh, a, a nice spot to come up and just pick up an easy couple of trout but I'm almost at the end of this run and I've just only hooked my first one now. That's a pretty little rainbow taking on the half down hopper. Come on mate, come on. I'm going to get you unhooked so I can show you to the viewers as I put you back in the water. Lovely, beautifully coloured little rainbow trout. See you later mate. I thought this spot here would be an easy four or five crowd to just walk up and I know it gets fished a lot but using a dry fly I thought I'd be able to pick up a couple of easy fish here but it's actually been quite a challenge. The last floods have come through and straightened the creek out a bit and the pools that used to be there aren't there now and anyway the fish are here if I can find them. Awesome let's keep moving on. I've got him, got him, oh it struck too fast. Just about to say, it's got to be a trout sitting over there. I think I st struck too fast or too slow, one or the other. Being a high pressure area, he ain't coming back. With a bit of luck, there might be another one up in the top end of the hole. Go into the second chance draw. Up here somewhere, maybe. Oh, oh he actually oh, got him. Can I say he rose beside it? Just about to say, oh, he got off. Well, I don't know what I've done wrong there. I obviously didn't strike at the wrong speed or hooked up. <laughs> Maybe I didn't strike hard enough. There's one under it, there's one under it. Oh, he didn't actually grab, oh he grabbed it that time. Got him. Kind of, he didn't actually grab it, he just nosed it. Pretty little rainbow. I'm standing under a bridge at the moment, there's always fish in bridge holes. Come on mate, quick. Let me unhook you, it's too hot to be out here in the sun. Quick! Oh, come on! Slippery! There he goes! See you later! He's got his bearings, he's a little, here he goes, he's a bit confused. That's his fault. See you later mate! He sit there and get his balance. He was out a bit too long then while I stuffed around getting the hook out. But that was his doing. Even that fish was a little bit reluctant to strike. He came up under it and then nosed it, but didn't actually strike it. Handy little device, this little mini machete. Oh god, oh, I missed him. Well, this time I missed him again. It's a nice fish too. Look at how deep that is. Before the big bush fires a few years ago, this was one of the best. Got him. I saw him come and grab it. This guy said this is one of the best pools in the creek. One of the biggest trout that I ever saw in this creek was in this pool, fishing with straws. It would have been about five pound, I reckon. Come on, mate. Lovely little rainbow. See if we can get you unhooked a bit quicker than the last one. Here we go. Lovely little rainbow. See you later, mate. He gone. He got going quick. The last one stuffed around. It's sort of hard. You don't want to squeeze them too hard and squeeze them to death. But you can't have them wiggling out of the water for too long either. <laughs> God, oh, I missed him. I came and grabbed it. 
I'm trying not to strike too fast. When I strike too fast, I miss them. When I strike too slow, I miss them. <laughs> what about in there? There he is, got him. Oh, done him. It's amazing how often the fish come down the moment the fly hits the water. I might turn around here. It gets a bit overgrown. I could get through there, no worries at all, but I was only going to fish 150 metres from the car, but I reckon I've gone about five or six times that. I've probably gone half a kilometre upstream, so I might uh, turn around, make my way back down to the car and go and find a different stretch of creek to fish. It's just one of those days where I just want to keep going because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> but I will keep going once I get back to the car and get to a different spot. I'm just trying to see whether or not I can get out through there and be adventurous or whether I should just walk, walk down the creek. I think I'll just go back down the creek to be on the safe side. Right, now I've come about a kilometre or so upstream, maybe a bit less, and I'm changing tactics. I've got my spinning rod out, and I've got the little Stry Tiger Micro, you know, and the tiny little jig heads that they have. I'm going to try and fish this nice deep hole here from up high and then I'm going to make my way upstream a little bit. So this is a change of scenery, what I was just doing. Oh, got him! Oh, I missed him to what I was just doing. Something just rose down the bottom end of the hole there as well. A bit hard to cast in there though because of all the snags. Something just hit that in there then really hard. Felt like a decent fish actually. It's never good to fish for trout from upstream, but sometimes it just can't be helped. Got him! Look at that tiny little rainbow. It's the first fish today where I haven't been able to wet my hands because I can't get down to the water. But anyway, that's okay, mate. Thanks for coming along. Lovely little rainbow from up above fishing upstream. See you later, mate. <laughs> it's a long way down, but you'll be fine. <laughs> now, the micro minnow that I'm using is very old and second hand. It looks like black caviar. I don't know how long it's been on that jig yet. I found it in my tackle box like that. I've got, uh, I haven't got any others that colour with me, so if I lose it, I've got some green ones in my bag or I've got some uh, blue bottle nymphs I can try or some black caviar leeches, but as long as that's on there, I'll give it a crack and see how it goes. Looks like it might work. Come on, little black caviar leech. Oh, there's a touch. He's following, I can see the wave. Got him. Another tiny little rainbow. There are actually, oh, go on. Well, that's good. He's going to be fine. Saves me having to handle him. There are actually some really nice brown trout in this creek as well. A big one! Big one! Take it! Take it! Take it! All the sides of him! There's a big one and a little one there then. I can see three or four fish there now. But that big one was quite a nice fish. Got him! Oh, nice one! Best fish today. Is it brownie? Yeah, it was. Gone. <laughs> well, I hooked the biggest fish of the day and he got off. <laughs> this could be problematic. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get through here. Right, now if nothing else, I've scared every single snake in this area into oblivion. A lovely deep pool there. I've got to fish it before my shadow is on the water and before the fields flash right next to me. And again, got it. Oh, 
they were hitting it while it was sinking. I couldn't work the lure properly. Like, they're still hitting it. I can see flushes. Oh, we hit it again. And one of them right beside it. Made me, made me fly right now. Lol. The feisty rainbow trout in that pool just then ate the tail off my black caviar micro minnow. It's the only one I've got with me. So I've gone to a green. A green colour. Still sticking with the micro minnow. What was a fellow? What was one on that? Got him. Oh. Got him. Oh, I done him. I'm not hitting it hard. Got, oh, that was a nice strike. Here comes one. Oh, I came out and had a look at it. I wouldn't take it. Right, I've taken that green off and I'm going to go back to the black caviar colour. But it's the leech. Because I haven't got any more micro minnows with me in that colour. So I'm going the black caviar leech. And I'm putting that on in the hope that I can get past that tree and still keep fishing. <laughs> Bit of a log jam here. Look at that. Beautiful. Got him. Ha! First cast with the black and gold. I only had the green on for about two or three minutes, but it was enough to tell me that they weren't going to go after it. Very first cast of a black and gold leech, bang. Pretty little rainbow. Off you go. There was one after that. Oh, and again. Oh, swallowed. Got him. Oh, I done him. He hit me leech about five times, that fish. This creek is the log jam capital of the world and hopefully this doesn't break under my weight. Beautiful hole up there if I can get up there without spooking everything. I've got to be careful which logs I put my feet on here. Because if that one breaks, I don't want to fall into all that crap. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous bit of water there. Beautiful bit of water. <laughs> Not a single fish to be seen. Maybe there's just one really big one lurking down the bottom of the hole. Oh, there is too. I'm not even joking. A real nice brown look could have even been up around 40 centimetres long. Just came out and had a look at that. I'm not even joking. I only got a real quick glimpse of him. But there was quite a large brown trout coming out there then. He came out once and that was it. Big old cunning brown. When I was a kid my dad used to say to me, they don't get that big by taking fake lures. I just saw a little fish there then, I think it might have been a rainbow. Got him! Oh, bugger! The rainbow hit that then. Got him! Yeah, nice rainbow. Nicest rainbow today. Geez, he took a bit of getting. Certainly isn't the big brown that came out at first though. He's a lovely rainbow trout. Come on mate, quickly get you off, quickly get you back. Lovely, lovely, lovely rainbow trout. Take on the black caviar leech. What a beauty. See you later, mate. Go on. Nearly be the fish of the day, that one. The striped tiger leech in black caviar colour. For some reason, they weren't real interested in that green micro minnow. That's the colour. Oh, the fish on that got him. Oh, another nice fish. 
Another nice rainbow. The green had a few follows and swipes, but the uh, the black caviar, which is a black and red, they're just going after it. Oh, say later, mate. He got off, but he was in my hand, so he's caught. <laughs> they are just going all after the black caviar. I've had a lot of success with this black caviar leech recently. I did it in another creek as well. Oh, got him. Jeez, they are going all over this black caviar. That's three in about a minute and a half, I reckon. He's not as big as the other two, but it's still a nice fish. Better than the ones that I was getting earlier. Off you go. See you later, mate. Beautiful hole. Oh, I was deep in thought when I walked up here then. You know what I was thinking of? I wonder how many yabbies are in my yabby nets. Serious stuff. After I finished fishing here, I brought a barbecue with me. I'm going to cook myself some tea. Then when the sun sets, I'm going to try and catch some blackfish in a different creek. Here comes one. I reckon he might have saw me he charge towards the lure and then disappeared. He's on it again. Got him. That's a brownie. I hooked a big brown before and he got off. But this is a little brown. A little brown trout. Nice little brown. See you later, mate. Awesome. Now, as I was saying, when I finish fishing here, I'm going to go back to the other creek near where my yabby nets are, took myself some tea, and then on twilight, I'm going to pull out my worms and see if I can catch a blackfish or two on sunset, then check my yabby nets. I'll put my line in the tree fern hole. Oh, big trout came out and said, God bless my soul. That was a lovely trout. I think it was a big brown. Hard hold a fish because it's so overgrown, but there's a nice fish in there. Got a little one, there's a little one in there too. That little one most certainly was not the first fish that came out. Totally different fish. Check that out, how it undercuts down there. Good cover for the fish. Right, I'm changing techniques again. This time I've gone to a minnow, something with the hooks at the back. I've had a couple of really nice trout come out of some of the deeper pools and not hit my lure or just tap it so I'm thinking something like this will have the hooks at the back we'll that straight away <laughs> wasn't expecting that it'll have the hooks at the back and it might be just a little bit bigger and a bit more uh, intrusive now it might incite some kind of an aggressive strike here's the big trout Oh, there it is. There's a big resident tree out right there at the back. Looks about 30 centimetres long, I reckon. And I'm snagged. No, I'm off. I can see him. He's right in the middle of the hole. He's not in here. These cunning bloody things, the big ones. He's looking, he wants it, he's getting all aggro because he wants it but he's just not game enough. Got him. Oh, he got off. <gasps> oh, fish at that while it was tangled. Nice undercut bank. Fish on it, fish on it, fish on it. Oh, he's not a bad fish either. He's on it, got him. Not done him. Geez, I'm getting a lot of strikes that aren't hooking up. I reckon I had a better hook up rate with the plastic. Got him. Done him again. I don't know whether I want to leave this minnow on or go back to the soft plastic. I might go back to the soft plastic, I think. Right, I've gone back to the black caviar leech. I was getting lots of strikes on the minnow that just weren't hooking up. At least earlier with the leech. A few were hooking up. Got him! Yes! Don't lose this one! Oh, this might be the fish of the day, I think. Oh, look at that! That is a lovely brown trout. An absolute ripper. 
I've had so many strikes that have hooked up and got off. That's a 40 centimetre brownie. That is the fish of the day. Mate, I'm just going to unhook you. I haven't got a camera to get a photo. The fish of the day. I've seen a few of these, but this is the first one that I've hooked. Look at that. What an absolute ripper. See you later, mate. Out of the water for about 20 seconds. And off he goes. Woohoo! Ah, oh, I've had so many. Every time I get to these big deeper holes like this, I see a resident fish, a big fish, but they won't take the lure. Then I changed to a minnow, and they wouldn't even hardly follow it. I went back to the leech, I finally got one to take it, and I caught it. Awesome! This is a bit problematic. Too low to go under, too high to go over. Well, under it is, I'll have to do the old duck waddle. Or baby crawl. <laughs> Hands and knees job this one. Oh. I'm through. What a proper adventure this is shaping up to be. I wasn't planning on walking a quarter of this far. I was only going to walk a couple hundred metres, but I've been going for ages. I just keep thinking I'll get out at the next exit point. You know, you see an animal trail or the track comes near the road or something, but there's been no exit points. I know there is one, I don't think it's too much further up. Well, I've been thinking that for the last hour, it's not too much further up. <laughs> There's no turning back now, it'll take me, it'll be dark by the time I get back to the car. I reckon the best way to do this is to fall onto that tree, and then gently lower my legs down there onto those branches, like this, like doing push-ups. There you go, plan worked. Nice long hole. Beautiful cast. There was a fish on it. Oh, I touched it. A little bit of depth in there too. Oh, the big swirl. Got him. Another nice fish. Another nice brownie. Not as big as the last one, but he's probably up in the 30s. Come on, buddy. Beautiful. B-E-A-utiful trout. Beautiful brown. Off he goes. See you later, mate. Awesome. I'm going to be stiff and sore tomorrow because I've walked so far today, but I'm having so much fun. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> oh, look at that for a spot. Beautiful spot. Big one, big fish. Oh, I can see one that's at least 40 centimetres. There's a couple of little ones, there's a few trout there, there's one of the little ones. I'll get him out of there so he doesn't speak to big fish. When I say one of the little ones, it's a nice size rainbow. Probably high 20s, but nowhere near as big as that big brown that I saw come out. Lovely rainbow. Oh, I know there's another big fish in there. I dare say though that that commotion probably spooked it away. Gee, that's a big brown trout sitting in that hole. Oh, there's a little one, I saw a little one. Where'd the big one go? Where did Mr. Big go? I know he's there. Came out the first cast and the second cast he sort of flashed and haven't seen him since. That's why they get big, because they are coming. Big and smart they are. Look at my dad. Oh, there's a fish. Got him. Another rainbow. Oh, I done him. Like my dad says, they don't get big by eating lures. How's this for a nice spot, eh? Look at that. Just absolutely magical. Got him. Another rainbow. Isn't it amazing? They are just climbing all over this. This leech. This, uh, this leech. I tried a green micro minnow. The flies they were hitting, but they weren't sort of hitting it like this. I tried a green micro minnow, a minnow, but it's this black caviar leech. I've had it on earlier, and then I put it back on now, and it's by far the lure of the day. 
Got him. Oh, I done him. Just have to set that a lot this afternoon. Got him. Oh, I done him. Got him. Haven't done him. <laughs> it's a rainbow. How many got him, ah, uh, done him moments have I had today? All right. Cute little rainbow. See you later, mate. Gee, the trout are coming in thick and fast now. I think this stretch is about to come to an end. I think the road's not far up here. That's why we're getting out. I wonder how many yabby nets are going. <laughs> That's a nice pool. Got him. Look at the size of that one. Smallest one I've caught for a little while. Come on mate, come on mate. Settle down, I'll put you back. See ya. Can I get the daily double? Two in the one pool. Happened to caught that at the back of the pool, yes! I was gonna say, oh there's a nice fish, this one. Oh yeah. A small rainbow and a nice brown. Not as big as the other couple of browns that I got earlier, but still a nice fish. And I've got the daily double, two in one pool. Two in two casts. I'm on a trout hat trick. Yep, beautiful. How pretty is that? What a pretty spot. It's like a natural little weir about 30 or 40 centimetres high. Trout would absolutely get up there without any problem. They'd get a little bit of a run up and then they'd just jump up over that log. So nice. What a lovely spot. Well folks, there's another big log jam up there and I'm buggered, so what I'm going to do I'm going to have to make an exit point and get out. I'm just going to have to bash and hack my way through there with my little machete. It's only about 30 or well, probably 50 metres or so to the track. I'm going to make my way out, go and cook myself some tea and then I'm going to try and catch a blackfish on sunset. This awesome afternoon of fishing isn't over yet. The first thing I need to do is clear a bit of a path so that I can get up on the bank. Once I'm up I'll be able to stomp a lot of this stuff down with my feet. So low, low, as we're staring at the sun. Oh, ripped to shreds by blackberries. <sighs> Nothing like a good old fashioned Adventure. Oh, this is ridiculous. Blackberries are that bad I can't even swing my machete. They're chest deep. It's like a wall. Oh, am I glad that I wore long pants? Oh, almost out. So close. Freedom! 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 Well I'm out. I'm very puffed. But with good reason. That was very hard work. Well, peas nearly ready. Mmm. Bacon sandwich. I'll probably get lots of strange, bizarre comments reminding me how overweight I am and how bad bacon is. But look at the bright side. It doesn't have the big long fatty bits at the end. I, I suppose you could call it fat reduced bacon. Bacon sandwiches and beer for tea. Sounds good to me. Now, be excited. Look at this. James Squire Zero. Alcohol free beer. I set myself a New Year's resolution not to drink alcohol for the whole year. I don't know how I'm going to go. It's a pretty big call. But I've done well so far. I haven't had an alcohol. I haven't had an alcoholic drink since New Year's Eve. I didn't even drink much New Year's Eve. It was just a resolution that I wanted to set. Let's see how long I can go without an alcoholic drink. Anyway, I better stop babbling on. This smells so good. Right, I've finished my bacon sandwich. Now I'm down at the deep dark pool to see if I can catch a twilight blackfish. Well, I've decided to go with a Pat Noster rig and a really small hook. Only thing that I can think of that I forgot to bring today are my circle hooks. I'm not a huge fan of circle hooks, but I do find that they are quite useful when I'm fishing for blackfish. 
But anyway, I've got a single Janjuk worm there on my little, on my light pattern rig, and I'm just going to throw that out in the middle, let it sink, and then wait until I get a bite. There is a very real chance that I could catch a trout doing this this evening. Those birds you can hear, they're gang gangs. Gang gangs or gang gang cockatoo, some people call them. Beautiful birds. Just had me first bite, there he goes, he's still there, he's still there, he's still playing with it. Got him. Oh, I don't know whether that was a blackfish or I think it might have been a trout actually. Whatever it was, was quite a fair size. If it was a blackfish, it was a big one. Here we go, getting a bite again. Is it a blackfish? Yeah, here we go, here we go, and... The line went slack, something's playing with it. Is he swimming and... No, I can't slack again. I've actually got two big fat chanjuck worms on the hook there now, so... It's going to take a bit of chewing. Something's still playing with it. Yeah, well, should have struck then. And got him. What have I got? A blackfish. Aha! I'm on the board with my first blackie. Awesome. I'll see if I can get a quick pick of it on my leg. Then I'll throw it back. Lovely little blackfish lip hooked on the Janjuck worms. See you later mate. I've had to put a new worm on because it just got so tangled that I had to take the worms off the hook before I could untangle my line. I don't know whether the camera is picking this up or not but I can see green leaves, green foliage floating down the middle of the creek and yet there's not a single breath of wind to blow the leaves off. That'll be those gang gangs, those gang gang cockatoos. There must be something up in these trees that they're eating. Oh, I missed it. That was a nice bite and I missed it. Oh, no, 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 no. Problem with sitting in really tight little spots like this, isn't it? You can uh, just get tangled too easy. That's ridiculous. Gonna blow a bloody fuse here in a minute. Right now, I've just had to re rig after a massive tangle. I've gone to a more simple split shot rig, just a hook on the end with a split shot crimped on the line. Bite, he's a bite. Oh, he's got that. Got him. Funny, you're all small little fish, but gee, uh, you grabbed hold of that worm and swam with it. Once again, just hooked in the corner of the mouth. Lovely little blackfish. See you later, mate. Come on, come on, and got him. Yes, I'm gonna get one more. I reckon that's a trout. If it's a blackfish, it's jumping out of the air, water like a trout. <laughs> Now the third blackfish is a trout. The old Janjuck worms have picked up two blackfish and a nice little trout. I'll get a photo of the trout. Brown trout. See you later mate. I was going to pack up but I'll uh, put a worm on and give it another five minutes. See if I can get another blackfish. To be honest I think I'm just excited to go and check my yabby nets. <laughs> Can I catch a third blackfish in the next five minutes? Let's find out, shall we? Just 
had a faint little nibble. I can only just see my rod. I've just worked out that I've been out of phone service for almost seven hours. My phone is going to go bonkers when I get back into phone service. <laughs> had a nibble but it stopped. I'll just wind it in a little bit and see if that can... Well, there's a bite. As soon as I moved it a little bit. As soon as I moved that worm along the bottom a little bit, then it had a really decent whack. Okay, take it. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! I can catch a third blackfish in the last five minutes. That's tiny. I'll get a quick photo of him with me flash. Blackfish, see you later mate. Gone. Well folks, the blackfish mission yielded me three little blackfish and a trout. I have caught bigger blackfish in this hole, up over 30 centimetres, and I've had much better blackfish fishing. This was actually really slow, and I suspect that's because the dynamics of the pool have changed. It's not as deep as it used to be, and I think it's quite silty on the bottom. I was able to drag my bait around without it catching up on anything. Anyway, that was fun. Now it's time to go and check the yabby nets, and I'm excited! Well, the sunset's very pretty. You know what the other pretty thing is? It's going to be pretty good when I pull my yabby nets up and they're full of big yabbies and I've got a feed of yabbies. I shudder to think just how many black beetles are going to be in these nets. <laughs> oh, there's a huge big tiger leech. Yuck. Anyway, I'll put the torch in my mouth and check the net. Okay, here you go. Oh, I can hear something. Is that all black beetles or is there yabbies in there? There's a heap of yabbies in there. I actually have caught quite a lot of yabbies. And black beetles. Wow! Woohoo! One. I'll throw them in the bucket for now, then sort out what I'm going to do with them after I check the next net. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, big bloody leeches in there. I hate these things. I just hate leeches. I'm going to tip these out. <laughs> There's only a couple left in there, I think. Seven, eight, nine, more than I thought, ten, eleven. There's another one down there. Twelve. So there was a dozen in the first net. And a few beetles and a massive big stinking mongrel tiger leech. I hate them things. Let's go check the second net. Oh wow, I can see yabbies everywhere. One, two, three. A massive big tiger leech right there. There it goes. Oh, yuck. Another big tiger leech over there. The yabby there. I can see two big tiger leeches and half a dozen yabbies. Right, let's check the net. I'd rather see a tiger snake than a tiger leech, so what I'm going to do I'm going to get this out and take it over to the road before I open it. Okay, here you go. <laughs> in the net. Oh, look. Oh, there's a bloody leech. Oh, I just went in. I was going to show you. There's a leech on the funnel. There's a leech and a yabby on the funnel. And the net is uh, full of yabbies. Let's take it over to the road. And... Uh, Empty it on the road where I've got a good view of what I'm doing. And look, here's a yabby just here. It must have been in this funnel. Must have been one on each side. Alright, let's empty the net. Out here where I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I can see a big leech in the net there. Yuck! Oh, I hate them things. Creepiest bloody things. One, two, 
three, no eggs in any of them. Four, they're not real big either. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where'd that leech go? That's still on the net. You to get. <laughs> there it is. Have a look at that creepy bloody thing. Oh, I hate them. They are disgusting. Blood suckers. Now I'm having a good look at the yabbies now that I've got time to sort of soak it in. There's about 20 or 22 in there, but I think they're a bit small, so. I think I might go and put them back in the dam. And then I'm going to do a leech check on these uh, on these nets before I pack them up. All gone. Oh, there's a big leech just there. <laughs> this place is off. Another big leech just there. I can see two leeches right, three leeches right next to each other there. This place is infested with tiger leeches. Yuck! Well folks, I can tell you with 100% certainty that there are a lot of yabbies in that dam. It's a very healthy little yabby dam. Unfortunately, it's also a very healthy dam for very big tiger leeches and I absolutely hate those things with a passion. So I don't know that I'll be coming back to this dam anytime soon. Folks, this video is a bit different than normal. It's longer. It's a lot more uh, action-filled. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching.